Hello my beauties, Yelena here from NLA Cosmetics and today I'm going to be starting a few part series. I don't know how many parts there will be but I would like it to be um, a few part series before the holidays and it'll it's, and it's called Surviving Jewish Holidays Beauty Edition. So I'm, I'm so excited about it. It just came to me today and uh, I actually recorded one video earlier but somehow it got corrupted so I had to re-record it but I think this one is better. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. If you'd like to know how I got this, uh, keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's begin. So first thing you wanna do is make sure that your face is completely clean and dry. Now in a humid uh, environment, you can't control it. Just take a uh, like a tissue paper and try to blot your face very well so that you get excess water away from your face when you're applying the makeup. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you a little trick that you can do for Shabbat and Yom Tov uh, when you have more than one day, right? Like not Shabbat, but the Yom Tov, like an actual holiday that lasts two or three days. Um, you can use false lashes. I really like these because, um, first of all, they're synthetic. I love synthetic ones because they don't breed bacteria like the natural ones do. Um, and second of all, they're reusable, they're really cool, and you can cut them up in little pieces, such as I cut this one up already. Uh, and I'll show you where exactly you should be cutting. So it's the same sizes this but i cut it in three pieces and i'll explain to you why sometimes it's really hard to just apply a strip right for a simple reason reason that uh on the sides if you're not going to secure it properly it'll lift up okay so the band just kind of opens up these little guys in the little strips when you're putting them you're just placing them on the rounded surface of your lid okay because it's not a straight flat lid that would have been easier um, but on, um, like either be dashes, right? Like, like little pieces and you can also use individual ones, but individual ones will take you much longer. So this one is fantastic. I'm going to tell you where to cut. So I'm going to hold up this lash right here. Okay. And as you can see, um, I want to show you, there are parts of it where, there's like little holes, I guess you could say, like where the hair is not there. This is where you would cut. Okay, so you would cut here, there, you can cut in these places. You can do it in half if you wanna, if you feel more comfortable just doing two halves of the eye. Or you can cut it in three. Uh, you can cut it in more pieces, whatever. But the point is that you don't cut where the actual um, hair is because you will disturb the natural weave of it right because it's go it's it's done a certain way so that it looks like a uh, a certain pattern right so you want to keep that pattern so um you can apply the lid uh the lash on before the yum tough um and that way you will have your lashes beautifully done and um, you'll be fine without mascara all three days another thing is you can definitely apply mascara before like a waterproof mascara or long-lasting mascara uh, before the holiday starts and that way you'll have your mascara on throughout the whole holiday or on shabbat now the rest i will explain to you as we go so the first thing you do uh so like i said i'm going to mention this again your face has to be dry and you cannot use any moisturizer or anything underneath it um right in other words nothing should be on your face i like to use the four in one brush as you guys know i love this brush it's so easy uh, the way you can do it to help yourself memorize is, first of all, have an, a separate brush just for days when you cannot apply your regular everyday makeup. Um, the reason for that is because you cannot overlap with any other color. In other words, if I want to use the foundation and then on top of it is a blush, I cannot do that, first of all. Second of all, I cannot use the same brush for both. A lot of times, even I do that when I apply foundation and I, with the same brush, I would quickly apply the, um, the, 
the cheeks, the blush. And so what happens what is they just clean it off and then I'm just move on. But on these days, you cannot do that. So what you can do is you can put little stickers right over here. So blush and what color of the bl blush that you're using. And then over here, foundation. And then what color foundation. Over here, you can put what lip color you used. And over here, what eyeshadow color you used. And you should use it whenever you, you know, you can have a lot of these or you can have this one. And then just wash them between the uses and then put a new color name on it for you not to forget or just separate your colors that you're using away from the rest of the colors so that way um, it will be easier to just go to it because obviously you're not going to use an eyeshadow for this one but you know so you won't make a mistake um, but those are some of the tips that you can do um, to kind of take care of that issue now I'm going to show you how I put makeup on Shabbat so first I'm going to use the black side here right this is the uh, the side for the blush and I'm going to dip in it now remember it's a, an extremely pigmented one so I would rather you take a very small amount okay and then just smile and wherever you see those cheeks right there and just put a little and kind of like break it up okay then you do the same thing on the other side very very simple I don't have anything else on my face literally nothing it's just the light you see that's reflecting on my face um, then I'm going to go in with the foundation I'm gonna show you something what's on the foundation when you get your foundation it's gonna say this message right it says puncture selected holes to control volume don't take off the sticker this is a sticker on top it's specifically on top of these little holes you can see there are little holes that's on the on this piece okay the same thing goes for the the all of my loose powders the reason why I don't want you to take off the whole thing is because the flow of this is just gonna you're just gonna dump the whole thing so don't do that take a little q-tip and just make a few holes okay there are holes already there it's just this plastic on top of it just make a couple of holes and then you can just put it on the lid just a little bit um, or you can just remove this piece this you pull it out okay and then you have your foundation in there so for the foundation I'm going to go in with the second side now if you don't want to hold the whole thing it's fine you can just remove it and just hold it like this which is also fine dip it in okay it's also a lot and just go around where you need the foundation for example I know I need it around my nose area around my eye area now if I if I do want to apply um an aligner or a uh, what do you call it uh, an eyeshadow on my lids I will not put foundation there you understand so you don't put anything anywhere if you want to apply the, another product there okay that's the, just easy to remember so I'm gonna grab this foundation and I'm going to start like for sure I want it here right the whole t-zone pick up a little bit more I'm picking up a very small minute amount because this foundation is very buildable As you can see, I'm going right around it. So this is where the blush is. And I'm going around it. And look how I'm picking up the foundation. It's not the whole thing. It's just the side so that if I, once I'm applying, right? You see that? This is actually a clean side. So if God forbid it, you know, kind of overlaps, it's actually a clean side. So it's fine. And that's how I'm putting it underneath. just like that I'm doing the same thing on the other side I'm applying it just like that so the bulk goes on the actual area where I need it and the rest is clean same thing I'm doing here and you know what if certain areas you need more then apply more it's fine this happens to be a formula that gives you that dewy natural look There we go. I'm not setting it. I'm not doing anything to it. This is it. Now, the next part I'm going to be doing is my eyes. I'm, I'm going to do a blue line today. So I'm going to be using this beautiful color here. 
This is the color. I love this color. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Look at this. It's so gorgeous. So I'm going to grab a skinny, skinny brush like this. This is also double sided. And this one is the multitask number 91. As you can see, it's really, really flat. So the way I'm going to pick it up is I'm going to just with the tip of it, brush it off and then go right underneath here. Same thing here. And I also like to go on top. So just look down. And since I didn't apply any foundation on top lid, I can apply as much of this on top as I want. Very cute, nothing invasive. Um, of course, you can go all out and go crazy, but for the purpose of the tutorial, I just want to show you what you can do and then just, you know, play with it. Okay. Very simple. Now you can take this side and you can just smudge it out so that it's not so harsh, the lines. And remember what you took. If you use this for the blue, um, the colors are right on the bottom of each pan and you'll be able to know which one is for what, okay? Now, if you are doing this look on um, before Shabbat, you can apply mascara. If you're doing it on Shabbat, you cannot use anything. Um, but what you can also do is you can apply the, the false lashes. You're applying it. Okay. It is so sticky right away. I love it. Uh, I'm going to bend this because you want to make sure to bend the strip. Give it like a couple seconds, really. It's such a strong adhesive right away. Now. There are two sides to it, okay? So the side right here is the shorter side that goes inside into the inner corners. This one has a longer side, you see that? So this one is for the outer. The bend, which goes like this, right? It's exactly how your lash is supposed to be. So just imagine, how do you, how do you put the mascara on, right? So that's how you put it on. Get it as close to the lash line as you can and tuck it in. And I'm holding it like this on a pinky. Okay. And again, make sure that you're applying it this way, right? The way you do the mascara, this is how it's going to be. Bend it, blow on it a little bit, let it just become a little sticky and apply. And then what you can do is you can grab your tweezers and just gently, gently without pinching yourself, uh, Kind of like stick your lashes with the fake lash. Okay. There you have it. Uh, it's really very simple. It's much simpler than it looks. It doesn't take long. And of course, for the final step, I'm going to apply the lipstick, right? The lip powder. And I'm going to apply it with this side of the 4-in-1 brush. So just pick up the color.
you can do it with the brush or with your pinky or your finger. Another thing you can do is you see like there's a little bit of space here between the um, the lash and uh, inner corner, like that emptiness. What you can do is you can pick up some color, right? The same color as you can use and just put a little tiny line to connect it. You see? Same thing on the other side. And there you have it. Very simple, very quick. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I'm gonna be doing uh, a few part series. I don't know how many parts it'll be, but we're about probably three weeks away from uh, Passover. And so I'm gonna try to do as many videos as I can to give you as many tips as possible, maybe tutorials. Um, if you guys have any questions, please comment below and let me know. And I will be happy to create more videos. Maybe you want to do something more fancier. Maybe you want to know how something would hold better. Um, please feel free to reach out to me. But this is the look for today. And I think it's very, very glamorous for, um, you know, Shabbat makeup and for Yantam makeup. But Think about it this way. If you can't put something on that you traditionally wear and you can pull this off like this, great, fantastic. Thank you so much for being with me today. Like I said before, my videos are more educational and I hope you're going to take the time to really get to know your face. I'm also gonna create a video um, on how to get to know your face. Uh, just so stay tuned for that as well because that's very important um, for you guys to understand, to feel every single bone, what's, what's happening where. Um, it's really important. Another thing, by the way, I forgot to mention that you can also fill in your brows with our brow powders or just brown powders from um, from the shimmer line we do have uh, powders that you can put right into your like if you need to fill anything in you're welcome to do that so don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you can never miss another video and i'm here to serve you to help you achieve the best results for what you want on holidays and all year round so please let me know what you guys want to see next and i will try to recreate it or create it so uh thank you so much for watching yelena was with you and i will see you next time